Hi, this is Bob at Inventure Studios. We always have at least 10 projects going on in the studio at once. It was challenging for us to keep our work areas clear and productive, what with all the machines, raw materials, tools, and project components. That's why we installed wall controls, slotted metal pegboards throughout the studio. These units, which come in several vivid colors, are tough, affordable, highly configurable, and just look great. We like these metal panels because in addition to the standard quarter inch holes found in old school pressed fiber pegboards, Wall Control's metal panels have evenly spaced slots that we've designed strong custom fitted attachment clips for that we can 3D print. Our simple clip design consists of a back end portion that's just thin enough to fit through the pegboard slot and a front end portion used for mounting our line of custom engineered pegboard attachments, which include shelves, bin racks, tool racks, and more. When installing a clip into the metal slots, the clip's thumb must be facing up and rotated slightly back. The notch at the base of this thumb should be pressed firmly into the top of the pegboard slot so that the bottom of the clip can be rotated into the slot as well. Once the bottom is all the way into the slot so that the clip fence is flush with the face of the pegboard, then the clip should be slid down to the bottom of the slot. And this anchors the clip's thumb firmly against the pegboard's inside face. Depending on the shelf size, the back face of each shelf unit consists of a set of two or maybe even three matching slots designed to receive the clip's front-facing crescent and fence elements. These shelves were designed for strength. The shelves that accept two clips on the back can handle up to 10 pounds. Those with three slots can handle up to 15. In order to carry all this weight though, the fit of the clip crescent into the shelf slots is very snug. So once the clips have been installed into the pegboard slots, orient the top of the shelf against the pegboard face with the shelf back facing down toward the clip crescents. Wall control slots are spaced about an inch apart, so check that clips are installed into the metal pegboard slots that match the spacing on the back of the shelf you're installing. Now, slide the shelf down along the pegboard face so that the top of the clip crescents are inside the shelf slots. Pay close attention that the crescents are as far into the shelf slots as possible. You'll know they are when the back of the shelf, which is again facing down, is in contact with the top of the clip's fence. Internally, the slots of the shelf exactly and snugly match the curve of the clip crescents. So as you rotate the shelf back and forth, as you see here, the hole in the shelf guides the clip crescents. As you rock the shelf back and forth along this curve, be sure that you're pressing the shelf down and toward the clips so that the back of the shelf remains in contact with the clips fences. If you feel resistance, stop and check that all the clips are being installed properly. If everything is progressing properly, you should be able to rotate the shelf a full 90 degrees so that the top of the shelf is horizontal and the back is against the metal pegboard face. Don't worry if the back isn't fully flush to the metal face. It'll become flush once you put heavy objects on the shelf. If at some point you want to move the shelf to elsewhere in your shop, you uninstall it by again rocking the shelf up and down along the same axis rotation until the shelf is again vertical. Then slide the shelf up along the pegboard face until the clips are completely out of the shelf's rear slots. To remove the clips, first push them up to the top of the metal slot and rotate the bottom out, and then rotate the top out, which is just a reverse of how you got those clips in in the first place. One more point worth mentioning. Inventure Studios has designed our clips to handle heavy vertical loads, 
not the sidelong stresses that happen when the clips of a shelf or other component span across pegboard panels. So arrange your pegboard layout so that all clips in each component are installed on the same panel. Thanks for allowing us to help you in your studio, workshop, or makerspace. And ping me at bob at inventorstudios.com with any feedback or suggestions on any other ways that we can help artists, engineers, and inventors be more productive and creative.